and all. Because on this day, you may think why it is important. We all know that we are in a developing country. Violence among the men and the women is very common, but the violence among the women is more in a developing country. If you look into the data and statistics of the male and the female violence, usually, however, the men are the people who do the violence and the women are the who are affected persons in almost all the studies, whether it is developing country or the developed countries. There are, of course, men also have some violence, but when you look into the violence, especially the uh, uh, marital violence in the house, in the family, everything is the women or the main victims of this violence. Gender-based violence and the violations of the human rights may lead to many health problems, especially in women, causing them a lot of physical harm and many a times it causes many of the sexually transmitted disease, HIV, STI, mainly because of the sexual violence among the women, especially the women who are poor, uneducated. So, when we look into many of these violations, that is mainly the gender norms and the culture and the society matters in this. So, different cultures share their own uh, uh, norms in the marriage, in the dowry, sexual orientation and many of the norms are mainly with this context. So, in this way, each culture, each uh, 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 race and community has a different form of their culture. So, gender-based violence reinforces these culture norms mainly about the male masculinity and male control and dominance, especially in a part of developing country like India. This is the main thing, the, the, the male masculinity and the dominance is still more and that is the main reason for many of the violence against the women which starts from the uterus. When the child is inside the uterus, it is subjected to female suicide. And when it is born, you put up a child in labor. They don't give an education. They are forced marriage. They are child marriage. They are actually, they don't have a, a freedom of uh, their own, uh, uh, I mean, uh, fertility. They can't have a baby. They can't have a contraception. All these things. And, then, uh, uh, and all to add, nowadays we have the accident attacks. And then we have the wives burning. And we have the lot of uh, honor killing in the name of culture, so the name of community, the name of, uh, I mean, uh, culture base, everything. Everything comes into in this form and the sufferers and the victims are the women. So the violence against the women, which is actually, uh, 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 it, it, it nullifies the equality for the development of the peace on the health of, of the whole nation. So we should all be mainly thinking of this violation of the gender uh, gender women or the violence violence for the women. It should be definitely be uh, it is it, it should be definitely be condemned. And we have to get the freedom from this, for which the empowerment is very very important.